thicker one side, thinner one other side, and it was an alien looking belly. Hey Awake Mamas, this is Jenny from Awake Mama, and today I want to talk about my week 33 during my pregnancy. So if you want to find out what I've been feeling this week, all the symptoms, then just Stick with me. One thing that I've been feeling this week that I was also feeling last week, and if you haven't seen my week 32 update, bump update, then I suggest you go check it out. I'm gonna leave the link right over here on the screen. But yeah, one thing that I'm still feeling this week are period-like cramps. And it's really weird because I am not, I'm still not sure if I've been feeling these cramps because it's part of the pregnancy, because everything down there is expanding, or, if this is what Braxton Hicks contraction feel like, I'm not too sure. And if you know anything about that, please go ahead and leave me your comment in the comment section below and help me out. What are Braxton Hicks contractions? Like, I mean, I know what they are, but like, how, what do you feel? Cause I've been reading online and everyone's, everyone feels something different. So I don't know if these period like cramps that I've been feeling is my uterus and my whole everything, my down there expanding or if it's actually my body preparing and practicing for labor and they're practicing contractions so I am a little confused with that but yeah that's something that I'm still feeling this week it's on and off it's not every day oh when I do move around they kind of go away so that's why I'm like maybe they're contractions that my body is practicing but sometimes it just happens randomly sometimes if I really have to pee then I start feeling this period like cramps so who knows what they are if you do know please leave me your comments down below and help me out something else that happened this week and it was so excited to see it because i feel like my baby is finally a lot bigger she is almost five pounds we had an ultrasound this week and it was so cute to see her on the screen and i kept saying like oh my gosh she's so cute oh my gosh she's so cute realistically it's just an ultrasound and you guys already know how ultrasounds look I don't know how cute they could be, but I still saw her so cute on that screen. Something else that I saw this week that I feel like it's because she's bigger, it's a distorted belly in the morning. So before I would wake up and she will be on one side, she's already all over my belly. She moves around all over. Sometimes I feel like she's on the left side. Other times I feel like she's on the right side. And I got up from bed to go to the bathroom, of course, to pee and i noticed that my belly was completely distorted like she was like up here and then like my belly was flat down here and i was standing up so it was just weird and from the side it was like thicker one side thinner one other side and it was an alien looking belly but it was the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life i got so excited i was like babe look babe do you see it do you see it and i'm like constantly telling him he's like Yes, Jenny, I see it. But of course, it's a different experience for men because they're not feeling that little human inside of them. For me, I was like, oh my God, it's so weird. Like, it's weird, but I love it, but I love it, but it's weird. The back discomfort, it's still going on. I'm not gonna lie, it's still happening. I went to the chiropractor again this week. I felt like it was a waste of my time. I was there for an hour and 40 minutes to see the doctor waiting. And when I actually went in to see the chiropractor, he saw me for three minutes, nothing cracked. And of course he can't do much because I'm pregnant. So I felt like I waited for nothing and I wasted my whole day. The back pain, the chiropractor really helped with the back pain, but what I'm feeling now is just feeling uncomfortable because my belly is bigger and I have five pound and almost five pound human in my belly and I've gained almost 30 pounds, you know? So it's, it's, I think it's part of the pregnancy and I don't wanna overdo a chiropractor either and I don't wanna feel like they're charging me for nothing. If you're feeling it too, please go ahead and leave me your comments down below. Again, something else you can help me out with and just make me feel better that I'm not the only one feeling it. And last but not least, I do wanna talk about my baby shower because it was just this past Saturday and if you haven't seen my last video, where I spoke about the preparation and how I, was, how I was feeling so excited about my baby sharp. I'm gonna leave the link right here on the screen for you guys so you can go ahead and watch it and check that one out. But yeah, my baby shower just happened this week. It was an amazing dream come true. 
fairy like baby shower it was perfect this little girl is such a blessed little girl because she already has so many people who love her there were over a hundred people at our baby shower which we didn't even know that we knew that many people and it was crazy the days leading up to that and everything was crazy and stressful oh, but it was just perfect it was fairy like it was a dream come true and that's all I want to say because I am going to be doing another video about my baby shower and how it went and I want to be putting pictures and videos or whatever I could get from it so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up welcome back to my channel if you've been here before if you haven't go ahead and subscribe so I can bring you guys a lot more pregnancy update videos baby shower videos baby videos all the videos that you want to see but make sure you subscribe so you know like keep you posted with it <laughs> thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye